All right, let's take a look at the first game of 1977 I'm going to cover. That is Boot Hill from Midway. Actually, this is a sequel to uh, Gunfight from 1975, and they've really improved on it in every way possible. And, of course, one of my favorite ways they've improved on it is you can now play against the computer. So now you finally have a chance to beat up the computer and not have to have a two-player game just to uh, experience this. Another place that Boot Hill really improved is the graphic quality. Now the actual graphics that the game's producing has improved. Uh, we'll cover that in a sec. But what they really did is they created a background. Really good artwork that they created in the back and then they did the mirroring technique that the screen was down beneath projected up at an angle so that it actually put the computer generations, which is just the stick figures and the, and the white and black, onto the background and it added a lot of depth, added interest and one of the things they also programmed was as the characters walk forward and backward or up and down they actually get smaller and larger so they really tried to create a little bit more of an illusion of depth and I think it works really well. There's a little bit of humor now when you die your body gets dragged up to the graveyard and you turn into a tombstone. We're gonna start a game here one coin for approximately 90 seconds or 70 seconds depending on how the game is set by the by the owner it is adjustable in dip switch settings uh, this one was set to 70 seconds so we're just going to play a 70 second game and here we go you see it starts out with a pretty simple play field and there you can uh, and you can see that they're right there with the rebounds uh, you can actually rebound which that doesn't have a lot of that's probably a throwback to the uh, Pong days still with rebounding off the edges, but... Oh man, how did I miss? Um, you can see now as the... Uh, every time someone dies... Man, twice I'm, I'm dying all over the place. Every time you die, you get your refill of uh, six bullets. But once you shoot all of those in a round, you have to wait till you're both out or till someone is shot. So now we got it tied up at 2-2. You can see they keep adding obstacles as we go and you can shoot through the obstacles after you hit them once I'm trying to be sneaky man he just nicked my foot okay i'm gonna have to get serious here he's gonna he's gonna beat me again here we go adds another cactus it's almost like the round marker you see now where i think this is round five so or or this is this is round six so there are six objects total on the screen so you start with just the wagon and it keeps going from there and nobody's shot yet so that one was a that one you have a little time limit or we were both out of bullets. I'm not sure right there. There we go. See, now someone died, and now there are six ca six cactus lining it. So that's our score kind of indicating three on each side. Uh, that's probably coincidence. Let's see what happens here. But um, there, I'm getting his number now. It's four to three. I'm up. So, hey, there we go. Now the stage co or the coach is moving down the, down the road. See, that's what I'm talking about with the depth. Isn't that awesome? Five, three. I got him. But you, uh... There we go. And it plays a little celebratory winning sound there, and it goes back to the attract mode. But as you can see, really attractive game. The artwork was fantastic. Uh, a lot of fun to play. Puts up somewhat of a challenge, but it's easily beatable with a little bit of practice. And some humor in there, too. So Boot Hill, great game from 1977.